All right, welcome to learning your treble clef notes. Now, the first thing you always need to know about a staff is that there are five lines. Okay, each of the five lines has a note assigned to it. But not only are there five lines, there are also four spaces in between. Now, each one of those can have a note in them. Okay, the only way we can tell which notes go where is if we put in the clef. Now, the clef in this case is the treble clef or the G clef. And the reason why it's called the G clef is because you have a the circle, the, the swirl that happens right here circles the note G. Okay? So that's going to be, a, if you don't remember anything else, these, the circle matches that note G. Okay? So this circle matches that note G. Alright, so, um, so let's start off with trying to figure out some of these notes. Now we already have figured out G. So now we need to figure out what are we going to be able to do next in this uh, and how do we find the notes that are above and below this. Um, basically you just need to know your alphabet. If you know your alphabet, okay, you're going to be able to be just fine. Now I wrote it this way on purpose because the higher you go on a staff up in this area, you go through your alphabet alphabetically, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and so on. Okay, if you go down, it's going to be something different. And we'll go over that in just a minute. But right now, we're going to deal with going up and being able to go up through your notes. So let's say we start with our G, but we want to know what this note is. Right now, we can't really tell what that note is because we don't really have any reference points other than that this right here is G. So let's count it up. We start with G and we're going to put a note in the space right above it. And that's going to be our next note on the scale. Well, we were at G. Now we're going to circle back around all the way down here and our next note up is going to be A. Okay, so this green circle right here is an A. Now if we add the next one on, which is a line, we're going to end up at B. Now you see how this pattern works? We're just going up the different uh, notes, or up the different letters. Then when we get back up to G, we just start over. Okay, but we just go one at a time. Okay, so we figured out this one, the red one, was B. The next one up is in the next one up, so one up from B is C. And finally, we have hit where we can't add any more notes. So this note right here that we were asking about is D. So let's try and find a different one. Okay, I've got another another different type. So let's try and find. We're going to put our G up. Remember, G clef. Always find the G. We're going to make something a little bit higher. I'm going to put this up here. Okay, now there are two ways to find this. Okay, we already know. G right here. If we want, we can also start with the note that we did last time. In this case, D. We figured that one out in the last example. So we're going to start by just doing starting with the G. So we'll do our, our standard jump. So remember, we start on G, then we go down to A, and then up through the alphabet this way. So we have G, A, B, C, here's our D that we found, then E, and finally our last note is F. Alright, now the other way to do that, like I said, is to get rid of all these, or to take some of these down, get these out of the way, and realize that we knew that D was right here. So we can start from there, and if we start from there, we have D, then E, and then F. So it's a shortcut. So that is how to get the notes going up the scale. Let us now go to notes down the scale. We're still going to use the same pattern of alphabet that we used before, but this time we're going to go down. Okay? And the idea is that every time we go down a note, we're going to go backwards through the alphabet this time. When we get to A, we circle all the way back up here to G. 
All right, so let's try this. So I'm going to pick on our note we just finished, which was F. We just learned that note. Okay, and I want to find this note here. Sorry, this note here. So I work out. Now we knew this one was F, so I'll go ahead and put that up there so we know F. Okay. So now we're going to go down for the alphabet. So we were on F. Now that's E. Put another one on. We have D. Put another one on. We have C. And we finally run out of notes and spaces. So this last one here is B. All right. Now let's go. Let's start down a little bit lower. We're going to go to. We're going to start here, but we're going to try and figure out what this note is down below on the bottom, very bottom of the staff, underneath it. Okay, so we know this one was G, so G there. Then we're going to go backwards one to F, down one to E, and we hit where the next note is, which is D. Okay, so you're just working through these individual notes each time. All right. So now, that is the alphabetical way of learning your notes. The next one we're going to explore is what is called a mnemonic device. A mnemonic device is one where you, it's, you're using your brain to create something that you can remember the lines and the spaces of the staff. So I'm going to, I'm going to set this up a little bit. We're going to work on the spaces first because this is a very easy one to remember. Okay? So I'm going to put this up. Third line, or third space, and fourth space. Now, if you notice, I have now spelled the word face. So that's a very easy way to remember, a mnemonic device to remember, the spaces of the treble clef. F, A, C, and E. So that's a very simple way to remember that. Now, if you wanted to find a note, let's say you wanted to find where G was, again, you can use your alphabetical. In between F and A is the letter G. So we're going to put, we just find a G there. So that's a quick, easy way to show how to do that. Okay, so now let's look at the, uh, the lines. All right. Now, the lines build up like this. You have E, G, right? Remember G clef, that second line is G. B, D, and F. Now remember, most of those we found in that first couple of experimentations with the alphabet. But here it is, E, G, B, D, and F. Now these are the lines. Okay? These are the lines. Now, Obviously, EGBD doesn't make a good, easy way to think, uh, remember it like face does for the spaces. So what we do is instead we create a sentence where each letter, E, G, B, D, and F, are the beginning of each word. The most commonly used one is every good boy does fine. Now, what we've done is we've taken words and made the first letter of every word the order of the line. E, G, B, D, F. Now, there's lots of combinations you can use. You can come up with your own creative ways. This is just the most commonly remembered one is every good boy does fine. But, uh, even George Bush does flips. You know, can anything you can come up with to create this sentence so that you can remember the lines and that the lines are E, G, B, D, F will be able to help you. There's one last thing about reading the treble clef, and that is something called ledger lines. Now, ledger lines basically are notes that are above or below 
the five lines, staff, and the four spaces. Now they look like these here, these here, and these here. The best way to find those is to use your alphabet technique. So now let's say we want to find this one right here. Okay. Well, let's remember that we can remember either that the lowest line is E, or we can remember that like the lowest space is F. And we can work backwards from there. Okay, so F, E, D would go down below. And then this is the next note down, so this one is going to be C. Okay, we have that alphabet going down. F, E, D, C. And because this next one is one more down, you go backwards one more to B. If we want to go up, the same thing applies. Remember the top, F, A, C, E, top space is E. So we can work our way up from there. E goes to F. Then you have G on top of the staff. And then the next one, the ledger line up, this one right here, is going to be the next letter, which is A. And if we go up from there to this note, we're going to have B. And you just work your way. If there's another ledger line above that, you go to the next letter. So you go C, you go D. You know, it just keeps going beyond there. So that is the introduction.